doing well today? I guess that you could say this is my first official fall makeup tutorial and I was feeling really inspired by this shadow. This is one of the new shimmer shadows by City Color Cosmetics and the whole range kind of has like a metallic finish, a metallic theme. This shade is gorgeous. So I really wanted to focus around this beautiful kind of burnt orange copper shade. This look is very easy to do, but I wanted to really kind of spice it up by throwing on some heavy liner, lashes, and then keeping the lip very kind of like a brownish nude, very soft lip. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. So starting with the eyes today, I'm first going to go in with a concealer. This is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, and I'm going to blend this all the way over my lid, all the way up to my brow bone, and this is going to be our eyeshadow primer today. Then I already did do my brows, I'll link it up top if you want to check out my full in-depth brow routine. And then I'm going to go into the Morphe 35W palette with a light flesh tone shadow. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. This is basically just going to be setting the concealer, that way it's not going to crease. Going back into that palette, I'm going to use this neutral mid-tone brown. And I'm going to be using a Morphe 330 brush, I believe it is. And I'm going to be putting this right into my crease area and blending it upwards a little bit. This is our transition shade. Then to the stars show. This is a City Color Shimmer Shadow, one of their new shadows, and it's in the shade Cheers to Life. This is what inspired this whole look, you guys. This shade is just stunning. It's kind of like a burnt orange copper shade, and I just love it, and I'm using a City Color brush as well. Then to deepen out the crease a little bit, I'm going to go into this deeper, almost gray toned brown, and I'm going to use a brush from... RC Cosmetics I believe and all my brushes are very affordable and I'm going to be blending that in focusing most of the color on the outer V and then really taking my time like you can see here blending it inwards as well. I'm going to take a large fluffy blending brush also from RC Cosmetics just to ensure there's no harsh lines and just make sure everything's nice and blended. I'm then going to pack on more of the Cheers to Life shadow just because I really want most of the focus to be right here on the lid. I really want this color to pop and stand out. So to kind of deepen it up, I'm going to go into the Spice Me Up palette with this beautiful orange shade. You can see it's the one on the bottom there. It has a, almost a little bit of a red undertone in there as well. I'm going to apply that with a synthetic brush from RC Cosmetics right over top of that just to kind of deep it, deepen it up, make it more fall, I guess you could say. For my brow bone, I went into the lightest shade of the Morphe 35W palette, which is just a off-white pearl shade. And this is my face when I'm not feeling it. It was a little bit too light for my liking, but moving on. Then I'm going to take my blending brush once again, just blend everything together. Just make sure everything looks nice and seamless. I'm then going to tight line using the Rimmel Scandalize. You guys know I use this all the time. Just because this adds so much definition right up to the upper lashes as well. I'm also going to be doing this on my waterline. This is not something I do all the time, but I really wanted this to be smoky and just pop so I did that and then I'm going to do a little bit of gel liner with Maybelline Eyes Studio and like you can see here I'm not swiping I'm just really pressing it into my lashes and just to create some definition and again some drama right there. I was going to put on some false lashes that did not work out for me so I loaded up with mascara and this is a foundation combo that I'm using. It is the Maybelline Better Skin in the shade 85 Sun Beige mixing it with the um, Rimmel Stay Matte in True Beige. I really like this because one's very liquidy and the other is kind of like a mousse so it gives a really interesting and really nice texture and coverage. And I'm blending it in with another City Color brush. For concealer I'm using that same one that I used to prime my lids. This is the Maybelline uh, Super Stay Better Skin Concealer in the shade Light Medium. Focusing this around my eyes and also bringing it past my eye because it's going to help kind of clean up that outer edge there. Also putting it on the inner corners because a lot of darkness can come there especially with shadows. And then on my cupid's bow, my nose, you guys know the typical places. And then look what my dogs did to my beauty blender. I was so sad but it is okay because it still works. So I'm going to use that to blend everything out. And then you really want to focus, like you can see there, getting in that inner corner just to kind of brighten it back up. Next, doing a little baking. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. And I'm going to apply this right under my eyes just to make sure that our concealer isn't going to crease. And it's also going to add more brightening as well. Then, I'm going to go into the Simply Spoiled Perfection contouring palette and I'm going to use the yellow shade and the peachy shade to dust away what we just did with the baking and this is once again going to add even more brightness and really lock in that concealer all day long. And 
I'm then going to go into the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 220. This is the Matte and Poreless Press Powder. With a large kabuki brush, I'm going to set the rest of my face since I am oily and I don't want to be oily throughout the day. Then I'm going to work on the lower lashes. I'm kind of going all over the place here with my makeup today, but we're just going to go with it. So I'm just using the same two shadows that I used, uh, the one in my transition area and then the one to deepen out my crease. Both kind of neutrally browns, and I'm just going to really kind of smoke out that lower lash line. And then I'm using a clean stippling brush to buff everything together and blend it out. Then I want to coat my mask. Coat mascara, coat my lashes with some mascara. This is a Rimmel Lash Accelerator. And if you're wondering, I did use a YSL volume effect on my upper lashes, but here I'm just coating them a little bit more, and that's what the eyes are looking like. So, going back to the face, I'm going to give my face some structure. So, this is back into the Simply Spoiled Perfection palette, and I'm going to contour the face, chisel out those cheekbones, and just give my face some definition. The brush I'm using is a Sephora 74 contour brush. Also, of course, going to take this under my lip, under my nose, I don't know why I'm swiping it like that, and then on the sides of my nose as well. And I'm going to take that same kabuki brush, blend everything upward so there's no harsh lines, and it's not too stark and intense. For blush, I'm using two blushes today. I'm first going to go into the one on the right, the City Color Be Matte Blush in the shade Sweet Pea with a Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm going to just be putting this on my cheeks, almost kind of as, as if it was a bronzer. It is a very neutrally but slightly warm tone shade, and so I'm going to put it a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my temples. And then I'm going to go into the other shade, also from City Color. This is in the shade Sunset Safari. I've been waiting to use this blush. It is like the perfect fall blush. I love it so much. So then I'm just going to, once again, blend everything together. Together so there's no harsh lines and then I'm first gonna go into the city color spotlight highlight and I'm using a lot of city color today you guys are such just so affordable and I just love their products so I am using this kind of as a base first and then um, I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal infallible illuminating powder this is in the shade golden I'm gonna swirl everything together with this obnoxiously large fan brush this is from Coastal Sense but I love it and I'm gonna hit all those places that I just hit with the city color spotlight highlight Lastly for lips, this is completely rubbed off, so this is pretty much a pointless shot, but it is the Jordana Twist and Shine Balm Stain in the shade Nude Chic. I love this shade so, so much. I'm almost done with this. It's a beautiful, really, really glossy, nudish with a slight brown undertone and then some almost silver sparkles in there, but it's very flattering and beautiful. And this is a completed look. Alright guys, that completes this makeup tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed this fall makeup tutorial. Let me know down below if you have any fall tutorial requests, any specific colors that you'd like me to use. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. That way you can stay up to date with all of my new videos. Thank you so much you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye! Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today, and I hope that you all had an amazing month of August. Not gonna lie, I have been having a small itch for fall, so I'm kind of excited that we're getting into September already. But you're definitely gonna notice a pattern or a color scheme through the month of August, colors that I've really been gravitating for. If you can't